wireless LightStar torque wrench residual torque application using angle restart measurement. There are two ways to measure residual torque. One is to measure peak torque and the other is to measure angle based restart torque. Peak torque measurement is very inaccurate. It is the number you get during the time the operator is pulling and releasing the wrench and depends on how they use the wrench. The best case use is if the operator pulls slowly on the wrench until they can feel the fastener start to turn, then they let go. This only records the measurement at the point when the operator decides to release pressure on the wrench. There are three additional problems with peak residual torque measurement. One, it's slow. Two, if the operator is in a hurry and they pull the wrench quick and hard, they will get a false high reading due to excessive overshoot. Three, if there is a vibration in the workpiece, the operator may mistake that for fastener rotation and prematurely release the wrench and generate a false low reading. All these problems are resolved by simply using the angle-based restart method in the wireless LightStar torque wrench. Angle-based restart measures the residual torque at the instant the fastener starts to retighten and records that data. Measurements are unaffected by the degree of overshoot. If the fastener does not turn, for instance, if the operator did not pull through to the point of rotation, it will not record a reading as the angle of rotation was never reached. This is true for soft joint, hard joints, cage nuts where the assembly slips, and long grip fasteners that exhibit a double break. The angle restart method of torque measurement using the wireless LightStar torque wrench is the most direct, efficient, and accurate way to manage your torque.